This footage obtained by 2 Prime News shows Aguilera Medeiros in a two and a half hour long interview with police. During the interview, Aguilera Medeiros speaks about his experience driving in Colorado and in the mountains. At that point, he realizes he's coming over the hill. He starts to apply brakes and they're not working. This is the end of the interview. A visibly injured Rogel Aguilera Medeiros limps up from his seat after being questioned for more than two hours following this deadly 2019 crash on Interstate 70. During the interview, Aguilera Medeiros says this to police. And he's going home. He's going back right now. Asked by police through an interpreter if it was his first time driving a car in Colorado, Aguilera Medeiros replies, no. so. in fact, he says he's driven in the state more than once. Aguilera Medeiros tells investigators he's been to Colorado three times. He tells police he made a detour on his trip to Interstate 70 because he needed to fill up and he knew diesel prices were lower on this route. Three, four, Okay, so he said he's driven I-73 or four times. This is footage obtained by 2 Prime News that shows Aguilera Medeiros in his truck speeding past traffic on I-70. Another angle shows his truck speeding out of view. Moments later, a black plume of smoke comes into frame. Aguilera Medeto says he's driven in mountainous terrain in Utah, Montana, and Washington State, telling police in his own words that he has experience driving in the mountains. As he's seen the runaway off ramp, that's when he realizes the brakes aren't working. Here, Aguilera Medeto clarifies to investigators why he didn't use the runaway truck ramp. You know, he sees the sign, but in terms of seeing the actual roadway, for the runaway tr you know, trucks to get on, he never saw that. Aguilera Medeiros had been originally sentenced to 110 years in prison. After a public outcry, Governor Jared Polis granted him clemency, reducing his sentence down to 10 years. He'll be eligible for parole in December 2026.